Okay, hi guys. This right here. I could you maybe not go a job before this video. Doing what I said <laughs> for the last video I did. With the Goku thing. So we're going to so basically the base Goku video and the Janemba video. We're going to be discussing why people don't play this character. And it's the same reason <laughs> as the base Goku and Janemba, in my opinion. Because there's literally no other reason I can think of. The character's too hard. <laughs> for people anyway. Not for me, no character's too hard. For me in this game anyway. Like if we talk about other games, other fighting games, like Tekken or Dead or Alive for example. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> Completely different. Because some of the inputs in them characters are just stupidly hard. <laughs> like how do you expect me to do that? But for this game nah. The blue Goku, base Goku, and Janemba all share one thing. They are all slightly harder than your average character. And that is the biggest reason why they don't get played. Because I've literally, from the last video, I literally showed you everything that was good about this character. And to, to say that this character is good is a big understatement. Look at this. Look at the range on the 6M, by the way. The range on the 6 Look at it. Plus 5. I can get it. Maximum because of the range on this thing. The range is nuts on this movie. Really is. It's nuts. <laughs> I'm glad they changed, I, n I never expected them to change the animation for the 6 m Honestly, I never did expect that. But I'm glad they did. Because it looks cool. And it actually made the 6 m better. Because the range is n noteworthy. It's worth mentioning, definitely. Admirable. <laughs> but yeah. It's, it's the hardest, it's the hard, it's the hard argument or difficulty argument that people like to throw around <laughs> um, because there's actually no other reason you, you, you've got everything you want in the character they can't even say oh two of them hit though nah it does this time <laughs> this time it does I assure you <laughs> it's like that people would rather pick characters like Master Jirai Goku Vegito Blue Gogeta Blue you know characters that you know that require a little to no thinking <laughs> to actually use characters that take little to no effort to, to use effectively whereas characters like Ugoku, base with you are I was I didn't mean to say base with you are but we can <laughs> love base with you in it as well heck let's just go through all the characters <laughs> Blue Goku, Base Vegeta, Nappa, um, Janemba, Base Goku, um, what's another character that's pretty difficult to, to learn slash master? Master Roshi, um, <laughs> anyone else? Off the top of my head, can't really think. Gotenks, yeah, Gotenks, that's another one. Phenomenal character, go tanks, phenomenal. Um Master Mercer Master definitely. So yeah, all these characters I just mentioned, none of them are bad per se. No one ever would call them bad. No one would. Ox anyone, they will literally say the same thing. They say they're all really good characters. The problem is they're hard. I would even call it a problem. People are just lazy. <laughs> People want things to come easy in life. They really, they do, and it's understandable. But for me, the characters like Blue Goku, Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, Base Goku, Base Vegeta, you know, Master Roshi, Gotenks, Moisama, all these characters. It's the fact that they can do amazing things that actually take skill to use. It's actually really 
refreshing <laughs> like honestly it really is because I'm sick and tired <laughs> of seeing Vegito be doing easy stuff and he gets such a massive reward from it like, it's crazy it's actually crazy his 5M is still stupid I hate that move I really hate the 5M but yeah we're not talking about Vegito <laughs> um, yeah he's hard compared to your average character it's a problem you think doing stuff like this is easy <laughs> this thing is not easy <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> getting hang of the loot saying easy I've been playing it for a while so I can do this easier than most people would maybe that's the simplified version but yeah you get it he like he's got everything you want in a character really but literally it's the same reason why you don't see the ace goku or janemba often they're hard they're just harder to play than normal and people don't want to bother with the harder characters they rather just go to a simple character and it sucks it really sucks it's not even just this game it's literally any fine game you would see people flock to the characters that are easier to play and it sucks it really does because characters that, are, that you think are interesting are the most enjoyable don't get played for the simple fact is that either one the easier characters are just better or two people don't want to actually deal with a hard character they don't they rather pick something that's simple and easy and not to think and not hard and nothing hard to think about that's just a, that's just, just a sad reality when it comes to the fighting games community and it sucks <laughs> it really does because you can't because you can't sit here and tell me that anyone is going to be able to do this with DBS Burger you can't do that new job if you don't train for it <laughs> it's, it's that simple but with a character like Vegeta Blue for example the, the, the combos are very easy to learn they really are <laughs> they're not hard <laughs> they're not same thing with Master UI Goku not hard <laughs> and another thing with DBS really is another, there's another reason why I love this character so much is the combo variety the flexibility in his combos there's so much freedom in his combos as well well, that's not really the case when it comes to those characters. That's why his combo. That's why Vegeta B's combos are boring, in my opinion. They really are. Just my opinion, but I truly believe they're boring. Same thing with um, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Even I love Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. It's my favorite fusion, but I personally don't like his combos. Just saying. Gogeta Blue, now that's a fun character, <laughs> but nah, it's just it's just a shame. Really. And I'll, that will always happen because people are too people are not willing to try a hard character, and it sucks. And it will probably always be like that. I really don't know, don't know what else to say. <laughs> it's exactly the same with Janemba and Race Goku and any other hard character in this game. Or any one other character that is depicted as hard. Quote unquote. <laughs> because a skilled, very good Janemba player would probably wash any character. Honestly. Because. Janemba just has the tools to get it done. <laughs> EX moves. Check. 
down there to check anti he literally has an anti zoning tool in his parry which literally which shuts down every assist in the game and shuts down every projectile in the game minus the supers of course so yeah Janimba is a ridiculous character like the only the, I think the character off the top I mean the player the pro player off the top of the head that I know is the only one that plays him as Shanks I believe yeah yeah it's literally just sex. I think it is only shanks. Red hair shanks. <laughs> I always liked how he was named after the One Piece character. But yeah. Um, shanks also plays another character that is heavily underrated or underused. And Cell. I might speak about Cell because Cell is one of my favourite villains of the series so I might speak about so in a, t in a later video but yeah like he's got everything you want far sauce come on grab big ass 2M <laughs> not as big as Super Saiyan Goku's but uh, still big <laughs> dumb damage really good meter game good assist overall this is level five. Like, uh, what are you hating? What is he missing? <laughs> Good pressure. The only thing you can say is that his neutral ain't top tier, but who cares? <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> like, it's not Nappa level. <laughs> like, and there's a reason why they did it for Nappa because they made his mi mix up so stupidly good. <laughs> And the Cybermen so stupidly good, that's why. That's why they did it for Napa. <laughs> it's to balance him out. Because if he had great neutral on top of what he does, you people would be complaining. I know you would have. I know you would. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Blue Goku. It's just a sad curse <laughs> of a... um. of a hard character in this game because people just want to press buttons and not think I want to uh, just get the easy way pick the easy character get easy wins but you know, pick a hard character instead of picking a hard character I actually feel I feel accomplished but like I don't, I don't know how I don't know I can't speak for anyone else but when I pick a hard character that I've spent hours countless hours in the lab mark trying my absolute best to master the character and i could hop online and i and i just pound faces into the dirt it's an amazing feeling <laughs> it really is because the character that i spent hours in the lab trying to master combos mix up situations it's just amazing it's an amazing feeling it really is It really is an amazing feeling. Another feeling that I really like is that characters that people underrate the hell out of. <laughs> so characters like Kula. There's a lot of underrated characters in this game actually. But let's just say Kula because I play him the most. He's one of the characters I play the most and he is on my team, my main team. So when I go online and just literally make 1v3 comebacks with this character, I've done it before. Multiple times. <laughs> so yeah, it's really nice man, it's really nice, it's really nice. It's just a great feeling, so yeah, it's a curse to be a hard character in this game because people won't play you regardless of how good you are. They won't. Aksumasu. <laughs> it's, it's just how it is. Unfortunately, because the characters like because I truly believe Goku Blue is better than Master UI Goku. 
I believe so. I really do. Aside from the stupid 5M that a Master Juaga has, what else does he have <laughs> over um, Bugogu? His defensive options? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's literally it because, yeah. Bugogu doesn't have any DP to throw out, he doesn't have any anti air reversals to pull out to throw out. He doesn't. Similar to base Goku in a way, no, technically base Goku does have a reversal, technically speaking, he does, but as you know, this technically counts because it does say full invul right there, once he disappears, so that technically counts, but that thing costs meter, so the only thing invincible about him is something that costs meter, so yeah, master UI is one, the range and his normals, Actually, no, it's not even just the range of this normal, so it's literally just the 5L <laughs> and his whole entire world combo. So, yeah, you've got the 5L UI Goku, you've got the fire, you go also got his entire world combo, which just screams mashing because that thing is so mashable, it's laughable, it really is. Um, and then, thirdly, you've got his defensive options. That's it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's it. That's all he has over him. His assists are not better than um, Bu Goku. I don't believe it is. Not that his assists are bad, they're not. <laughs> but I don't think they are better than Master Ui Goku's. I mean, I don't think Master Ui Goku's assists are better than Bu Goku's. His damage is not better than Bu Goku's. Just not. I don't believe it is, no. It's just that it's a lot easier for Master Ui Goku to get hard to get high damage because again the character's easy. <laughs> There's nothing special about those combos. His combos are actually boring to do and watch, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Don't like that character. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. Um He might be nerfed and all, but I still don't like that character. <laughs> um Blast and Block Move. Guess what? Boo Goku also has that. <laughs> So, you're nothing special with Master Jirai Goku. <laughs> so, the only thing I can say for Master Jirai Goku is his neutral is better, I'd say. That's it, because Master Jirai Goku has a full screen projectile that acts as a beam. So, it beats Super Dash. So, it gels him, but, so, and it also gels him to vanish. You also has an anti-air one, an anti-air projectile that gels into that grounded projectile, so he's instantly in. So yeah, his neutral is great. He's got anti-zonar as well with his flips. So yeah, his zone, his um, his zoning capabilities and his neutral in general is just straight up better than Goku's. But aside from that. And the, the defensive options and the all combo and the 5L, he's got nothing else on him. He's got nothing else on Blue Goku. Normals. I guess you can say normals are slightly better, slightly. But yeah, this was, that's it. That's like four or five things I just mentioned. Everything else Blue Goku has, has him got him, got him beaten spades. Frame data. Blue Goku's better. Damage, Blue Goku's better. Meet again, Blue Goku is <laughs> better. I think I've seen a video where Blue Goku gets two bars of meter in one combo, just like DBS Broly over here. I can't do the combo. I forgot what it was, but <laughs> he can do it. He has a level 5, which you know, Ui Goku doesn't. Um, yeah, you are Goku has a level 2, but I would rather have a level 5, in all honesty. Um, what else? He has this. This thing. 
No, no, you are Goku's keyboard is good, but you can't do this. <laughs> so. So yeah, that's basically it. I don't know why I brought up from your mind of you are Goku. It's weird. <laughs> um, I just really don't like that character. Um, but um. It's funny because I really like Goku in this show, but Master UI Goku in this game is a hell of annoying. <laughs> so it's um, crazy. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Um, next video, I might do. I'm gonna do something that I regretted. That I might regret later on. <laughs> Not gonna die. It's the um, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I'm gonna try the harder difficulties. I know. I know I said I wouldn't do it because I I just refused because I know I'm gonna get very frustrated with that game but I decided to do it because my brother suggested it to me so ah uh, <laughs> fine, let's get it over with <laughs> so yeah that's probably gonna be the next video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys then. Take care of yourselves.